I'm very pleased to come to the Larkin District today to announce that the city is moving forward on the most important comprehensive overhaul of the city's zoning code in 59 years. We chose the Larkin District for this announcement because through the vision of the Larkin Development Group, led by Howard Zemsky and his partners, their $12 million renovation of the Larkin at Exchange Building is home to over 2,000 employees and the headquarters of one of the region's leading banking institutions, the First Niagara Financial Group. The Larkin Development Group and First Niagara have recently announced their commitment to invest further in the infrastructure of this section of the city, and the city will undertake a sweeping reconstruction of the streetscape to support this new investment. My administration has begun the process that will lead to a comprehensive rewrite of our zoning code, uh, something uh, that advocates have asked for for quite some time uh, and the folks in our planning department have worked on for quite some time. We conducted an extensive national search and we found the consultant that will bring Buffalo zoning code into the 21st century. I want to thank the Reverend Darius Pridgen and Carl Montante, Jr. Unfortunately, uh, Carl could not be with us today. He's out of town. Uh, those two, along with our staff, worked tirelessly uh, with the city's Office of Strategic Planning and brought their insight and expertise to this important process. I will ask today uh, that the Buffalo Common Council approve the nationally recognized planning consultant from Chicago, Camaros Limited, in partnership with Goody Clancy of Boston to redo the city's zoning code. Camaros has implemented the most current zoning techniques, including form-based codes in Chicago, Minneapolis, Phoenix, Salt Lake City, and Baltimore. Our zoning reform effort will act as the foundation for the new place-based economic development strategy for Buffalo's neighborhoods in every section of the city. As I said, the city initiated an RFQ process. A dozen firms responded. The partnership of Camaros and Goody Clancy brings together some of the leading expertise on planning and urban design in North America. Economic development will be centered on the assets that define a sense of place in a neighborhood. These are the structures and spaces that create an environment where people want to live, work, visit, and invest. The new Buffalo Zoning Ordinance will be known as the Buffalo Green Code. It will embody 21st century values about economic development, sustainability, and walkable green urbanism. Our new Buffalo Green Code will help support public transit and reduce dependency on the automobile and help limit carbon emissions. It will also make it easier for neighborhoods to develop within a closer proximity to jobs and daily services. It will streamline, simplify, and shorten the regulatory process to help support Buffalo's economic development initiatives and new housing in our city. The task will not be easy. It will not be simple. It will need the active engagement of the citizens of Buffalo. This is a really big project. The new Buffalo Green Code will be the first opportunity Buffalonians have had nearly 60 years to establish a new regulatory framework for the development of our neighborhoods. Zoning is the tool by which we build our communities. It determines what gets built and where. It's essentially Buffalo's DNA. The process to reimagine the city's future and write a code that matches the community's vision will be an exciting opportunity for the people of Buffalo. As this process gets rolled out, over a period we expect to take about three years of serious work, I invite all citizens in every section of the city to participate and take an active role. We need your help 
and we need your input. 